Hello. Time to do a bit more Dragon Age, I think. Well, a new letter on your desk awaits your attention. Here, boy. I've something to wet your teeth on. Freshly confiscated mutton, just for you. Have at it. Just checking on my best guardsman. He's helping the men to learn healthy respect and how to run. from charade Actually, right back to it, but I hope like Hawk does at some point. God, the mages in this game always look like like, like little sycophants. I hope I have yours as well. Uh -oh. Things have been very troubling these last few years, haven't they? I, uh, I was thinking that it might soon be time for my boy and I to move on. Back to the merchant's life, I suppose. It's an honor to serve the champion of Kirkwall. Make no mistake. But I'm getting older. It's time to see the Sandals' future. I'll stay on until arrangements are made. I hope that's all right. If you're worried about Sandal, I can help him out. Oh, well, that's mighty kind of you, but it's unnecessary. My boy's been offered a position in Orlais. It seems the Empress herself found one of his enchantments and is intrigued. Can you imagine? Us in the Imperial Court. Hopefully this business with the Templars doesn't get worse before we go. I worry about you, Miss Eyre. I'm just thinking because, like, the Empress of Orlais wants Sandal to do stuff. I think he should have been an Inquisition, you know? Because I'm getting to that point in the game in my own playthrough. Uh, where you're going to Orlais and stuff. And um, it does seem like they're conspicuous by their absence, these two. I think they, they should have been in the game, but they, they weren't. You like the shiny? Boom! he goes again. How he makes these things, I'll never know. <laughs> I've never seen another dwarf like him. Does this run in your family? Not at all, but Sandal isn't really my son. I found him in the deep roads when I left Orzammar for good. Raised him as my own now. Isn't that right, my boy? I like Bodan. He's always been this way. Always collecting things and enchanting them. Strange, I suppose. Have you ever thought of finding out more? Well, I did. I brought him to the Circle of Magi about a year after we got to the surface. 
They called him a savant. But then they started giving him the eye like they were going to keep him, so he left. Not going back to those vultures. Sandals happy as he is. Perhaps he'll be the first dwarven mage. Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't know. The actual mages don't do enchanting, do they? Just the ones who had their magic taken away. Tranquil. Yes, them. More. The old lady is scary. There is no old lady, Sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, my boy sees things sometimes. Says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Yes, well, there you go. This <laughs> scratches his arts. A lot of people seem to think that um, a really good theory is that Sandal is actually the makeup in human form, in dwarf form. No one knows why. I make enchantments. Your house is pretty. <laughs> okay, so we need to catch up with companions. Find Nathaniel and all that rubbish. You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. So when do I get the grand tour? Haven't you already... Oh, you mean my ship. It's not fit to be seen. Castillon had an obsession with mustard-coloured satin. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you. For everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. I was drawn in by the intoxicating aroma of stale piss and vomit. <laughs> now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. Exploring the world and getting away from all this. I'm game. It'll be you and me chasing that horizon. I can't think of any place I'd rather be. I... I I'm sorry. I don't know what's come over me. What's going through your mind? I think I... I think I'm falling for you. Just tell me, Hawk. If I have a chance with you. Didn't you say love wasn't for you? I know what I said. And I know why I said it. You were right. I wasn't afraid of love. I was afraid of being loved. Just kidding. Promise you won't run off and break my heart? I won't if you don't give me a reason to. Got a minute, Hawk? I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? No point in keeping a house for a dead man. I've been trying to get rid of the place for ages now. I assume there's not much interest in it. No. There's a really small number of people who want expensive, blood covered houses in high town. I found a minor noble in Ravane who bought the place sight unseen. 
But now there's a problem. They say the place is haunted. Bartran's atrocities must have weakened the barrier between this world and the Fade. Maker, I hope not. I don't think I can fix the Veil through applied use of force. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartran brought back from the Deep Roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. What happens if we do nothing? Best case? They drag me before the Seneschal and accuse me of fraud. The worst case involves Antivan Crows. Can't you do this yourself? Hawk, I'm a businessman. Now and then, I shoot people. I don't know anything about ghosts or magic. It's entirely possible that even if I find the thing that's causing the trouble, I won't be able to stop it on my own. I'm not an expert on hauntings, but what if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You're a mage. You must know something about weird shit. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. <laughs> Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I we just like... I think this will be the last episode before we do DLC, which will be really fun. Oops, one second. I do a haunted house. Um, this is not I do a haunted house quest. Vampire the Masquerade did one that was absolutely sensational and terrifying. Hey, is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. Hawk, Verrick, I would very much like to leave soon. the buyer wasn't kidding. That would be quite the trick at parties. Where is that voice coming from? What voice? I can barely hear it. I wish I could make out the words. We get it already. House haunted. You can stop now. We're getting closer. I can feel it, Hawk. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartran was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Hatuna River, which never sees the sun! Arr! He was that upset over a dish. I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. 
get um, Farrakh never grew up on the surface. Well, he never grew up on Ozma, grew up on the surface. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. should have gone to the privy before coming in here. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. I didn't exactly want to stay for dinner, but I think we've got a few minutes to hear her out. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no. It's starting again. Yeah! <laughs> 
piece of the idol. No, I should have known Bartran would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. We came here to stop whatever was causing this trouble. That's the cause. Destroy it. I know that was the plan, Hawk, but plans change. I could put this shard to good use. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. My only hope of finding out what happened to my brother is with this shard. Varric, if you keep that thing, you'll go mad, I'll have to kill you, and Bianca will be heartbroken. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. That thing is cursed. It ruined your brother, and it'll ruin you, too. Get rid of it. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. Let's go. I think I could use some air. Did you ever notice how cold the pavement is here? No? <clears throat> Just me. Why are you smiling? No reason. Oh, oh, it's something dirty, isn't it? Tell me, tell me. It... It isn't anything dirty. I'm just... happy. Oh, that's good too, but I was hoping for something dirty. Come by the tavern later. I've got stories that will make your toes curl. Did she want buttons? Shell buttons, was it? The first enchanter and the knight commander are like. Right? Or at opposite ends of the same hallway. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire, which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her. But I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. She does like to add one and one and get eleven, doesn't she? Sometimes a hundred and eleven. I've heard rumors, whispers of a meeting tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. So I shouldn't slit my wrists and dance naked under the moonlight just to fit in? I would not recommend it. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not, or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment.
All mages are confined to their quarters. Okay, not that we can really use. No. Someone's coming. The champion. We know you're spying for Orsino. Run. We'll handle this. Did you see his hands? See if they've got any further information. Or gold teeth. Huh. Another secret society meeting in a warehouse. Do you think the owners charge them rent?
never even heard of these dudes, this is what I mean by, you know, lacklustre content. Never heard of them at all. Um, so, we won't be doing that. Pointless. Yeah, it's. it's Shut off with you, game. Waste of time. It's all it tends to want to do. Waste of time. Look at his white hands. I told you he was after us. No, not him. I can't do this. Two arms! I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping, not after what I went through. Didn't I save your life? You did, believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. I don't like where this is heading. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about. As a hostage. We just got word they took one of the Templar apprentices. A lad named Carver. Your friends don't know much about my relationship with my brother, do they? <laughs> they, they should have just talked to you. I know you're a reasonable person. You have to see how dangerous Meredith is. Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? 
We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. I thought you'd be the last person to join a conspiracy of apostate mages. They aren't apostates. They want the Circle. They want it to work like it's supposed to. To protect them. The mages aren't the problem. Meredith is. The Knight Commander needs to go. That's what Thrask says. Without her, we have a chance at peace. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? This isn't going to end well. If I were you, I'd stay out of range. Thank you. I'm really sorry you were the one. Your friends should be fine. They were going to our base on the wounded coast. The ruins there. I'll go to Marsha, try to wait this out. I don't think I can serve the Templars while Meredith is still in charge. Hold there! Who are you? The name's Evitz. As in Evitz Marauders. The folk you killed a few years back. Now you're going to die for what you've done. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. See, now, this is Samson. Now, he, if, if, you, if you make certain choices in Dragon Age Inquisition, he turns out to be the main bad guys 
henchmen, essentially, like the, the main, you know, threat, apart from the main bad guy. Yeah, if you think that's as stupid as, as it sounds, yeah, it is as stupid as it sounds. This junkie, this crap addict, turns out to be, if you side with the mages in, in, in Dragon Age Inquisition, he leads like the the, 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 um, the deformed, the corrupted Templars against you, and if you if you you know go with the Templars, then Calpurnia leads the deformed mages against you. You know, one of the one of the two joins the big bad guy. Um, yeah, ridiculous. If you've played Dragon Age two, you never take this guy seriously. If you if you come up against them in Dragon Age Inquisition, you're laughing, you're giggling every single time he's on there, going, "I am the big bad guy." You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are, mate. Yeah. And you slap him down without any consequence or, you know, whatever. Who are you again? Exactly. Samson. I'm the one who fouled up your lad Fainreal's escape some years ago. Further back, I was a Templar. But that was before your time. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality, but back them into a corner, and they got options we don't. Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. Are you part of this plot against Meredith? You could say so. That bitch threw me out of the Templars for carrying letters from a mage link to his sweetheart. She's got her sword so far up her ass, she can cut you with her tongue. Meredith does seem to have a serious case of the crazies, yes. But is she wrong? I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give him a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Every mage seems willing to use blood magic in the name of freedom. They can't be trusted. Much as I hate it, I think you're right. And Meredith's lost more people to this movement than she knows. She needs men she can trust. If you go after Thrask, I'll gather the Templars I know who are still loyal. Maybe I can earn my shield back after all. The Val, like, talks a uh, mage and he's like, yeah, they can't be trusted. But I think it's mainly because of what happened to his mom, to his mother, that he's staying that. Because the ones in this city are just fruit loops. Like, literally every single mage I've just come across has been a fucking maniac. So, yeah, I can't really blame this person. I suppose it was too much to hope that you wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. Your cause is just. But I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The boy dies, then the champion. See? Stand down, Grace. Grace, do you really want to do this? After everything we've done for you? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith. What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Why? See, and this is what I mean. This is how stupid the writing is in this game. Hawk saved her life, he made sure she was okay, you know, she got to Starkhaven and all that, and all of a sudden, she's a psychopath. If you want people to come down on the side of mages, this is not the way to do it. You hurt my brother, you die. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. You're dead. All of you. No. 
No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion. Love and hope doesn't need him. Um, he just doesn't need blood magic. He just, he just does. He just, yeah. I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. Out of my what where am I? I thought you were better than this. A couple of lousy Templars and you're down. I had no reason to think they'd turn on me. Thank you, brother. It seems I am again in your debt. And Shadow. I got here as soon as I Oh. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a good man, sir. He tried to solve things peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hm. You mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, champion? If you killed every man who doubted Meredith's fitness, Kirkwall would be a ghost town. You think that reason enough to spare blood mages and their willing dupes? Perhaps some of them might still be saved. We'll see. See, I would... Normally, I'm gonna admit, normally I would ask him to take Samson back, but knowing what happens in the third game, I just... I know I'm metagaming it a little bit, I don't know, but I still just can't bring myself. It's like, he's such an idiot. She never, well, I've known more stupid characters, obviously. What was that? Tiger's Trail. Oh, that's actually really good. We'll have that. Yeah, thank you.
somewhere on the moon. is all about cleaning up. You there? Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? Either your father didn't give me the whole story, or I really, really hope you're talking about someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. You saw him in your dreams? Maybe we should sleep together, then go look for him. <laughs> hey! What did you do to my man? I'll kill you till you're good and dead. I must wait a bit longer for my love. Huh. Thank you for your aid. I will find my way back to Kirkwall. The walk will tire me, and we'll be reunited in my dreams. Fenriel, my love, I'm coming. I think that's the sign of things to come, because in the Inquisition there are like two male romance options if you're straight. There's literally nothing else going on. Let's go find Nathaniel, shall we? Nathaniel Howe. You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? Your handiwork here is much appreciated. How did you... Delilah. She figured things out then. Good. 
I should have spoken to you. The deep roads have proved to be quite dangerous. Your insight could have saved lives. Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? You went further into the deep roads than anyone believed possible. The First Warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any... curiosity. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the Warden Commander killed the Architect, we thought it would be decades before the Deep Roads would be infested again. The Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear. But it seems they were wrong. They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. Who is the Architect? The Architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the Taig. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Varric was deemed risky. You trusted my turncoat of a brother, but thought talking to us was risky. That's idiotic. We feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Taig. As much as I enjoy the company, is there anything keeping us in these Darkspawn-infested tunnels? I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live. We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some Wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the Dwarf we brought from Vigil's Keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. Master How, you live. Temerin, good man. Are there any other survivors? Hopefully, up ahead. Well met are strangers in the belly of the earth. I hope Sir Fenley won't mind, but I set up the explosives here and there. Figured I'd blow up as many of the spawn as I could before I embraced the stone. How did you manage to get Kunari explosives? These aren't Kunari explosives. They're Dwarven made, and don't you forget it. Temerin's cousin Dwarkin made the explosives back in Vigil's Keep. Aye, and that he did, before the sudden Kunari forced him into hiding. What were you doing with these explosives? We were prepared to do extensive excavations around the Taig you found. A few well-placed booms prove most efficacious at clearing rubble. Let's teach these Darkspawn a lesson. Temerin! The way behind us is clear. Send word to the Wardens in case we don't make it. Aye. I've set explosives all along the tunnels. Blow up as many of the sodding spawn as you can. Luck to you both. I think I missed the hood. I wish I could. Oh, no, I didn't. Stuff. 
I fear we have come all this way for nothing. But my fallen comrades will be avenged. The Darkspawn are here. For the first time since I've been down here, I don't sense a single Darkspawn. We've won. The route to the surface should be safe now. Because of you, I will see my sister and nephew again. Please, take this with my blessing. I apologize I couldn't answer all your questions. You may have them yet in the fullness of time. Stay safe, Nathaniel. You as well. I think Bianca's gotten scratched. There's another letter waiting on your desk, at your leisure. Right behind you, Hawk. Alright. And I think the next time we will be... Nope. Um, we'll, we'll finish up the last of our quests here. We'll talk to our... Um, we'll talk to our uh, companions. And then we'll be doing some... We'll be starting Mark of the Assassin. See you then.